Now let's see how to delete a comment. Again, we're going to start with the API. We have get and post already implemented and working end to end. So next up is the delete. The request looks like this, comments slash ID, which is the ID of the comment which needs to be deleted. We want the comment controller to accept and process this request and then send back the HTTP status code 204 in the response. So let's start with the unit tests. I'm going to open up the commit controller test class. And at the end, I'm going to list down all the unit tests that I want to write for the delete functionality. So first, I'm going to write a test to validate the commit ID. It should draw exception for invalid commit ID. I want this method to throw an exception if the comment does not exist in the database. And for now, let's start with these two unit tests. So for the first test, I can actually copy this one over here. The exception is invalid parameter exception. So this is going to be delete comment. Invalid comment ID throws invalid parameter exception. The method name is going to be delete comment. And I should pass in the comment ID as well. So passing minus one, which would be invalid. So now in order to make this compile, I have to create this method in the comment controller class. And now I'm going to run the test. So here we have a failing test. I'm going to implement this validation in the comment controller. So if I less than one throws a new invalid parameter exception. Okay, that's passing. Now, one thing that I want to do here is to rename this to comment ID because this is the ID of the comment that we are passing into this method. Okay, let's run the test once again. Good, it's still passing. I'm going back to the test class and I'm going to write the next test, next validation, which is to throw an exception if the commit does not exist in the database. So for that, again, I'll copy this test. In here, I want a not found exception. So I'm going to rename this method first. When comment does not exist, throws not found exception. And now I'll create this exception in the src main java folder. Superclass should be runtime exception. So now I want to pass in a valid comment id to this method. And if this comment does not exist in the database, I want it to throw a not found exception. So first, let's run this test. Okay, it's failing. And now I'm going to add the implementation. So how do I do that? First of all, figuring out whether there exists a comment for this ID or not is not the responsibility of the controller, but of the service. So it has to be delegated to service. So I'm going to set up the comment service mock that we have here. Do throw not found exception when what? Well, that's when the delete method is called on this mock. But the problem here is that there is no delete method in the comment service. So I'll have to implement it in the service and then come back to this. But for now, I don't want to leave this a failing test. So what I'm going to do here is to throw the exception from in here so that I get this test passing. Great. Now in the comment service test class, I'm writing a very similar test. Copy this and rename to delete comment. When comment does not exist, throws not found exception. And comment service, delete comment, and pass in the comment ID. 
So in order for this to compile, I have to create this method in the comment service class. Okay, now run the test. It's failing at the implementation. Now, there are two approaches to delete something from a database. You could do a soft delete, also known as a logical delete. Then there is hard delete, also known as physical delete. Soft delete can be implemented by marking the entity or the record as inactive. This is also known as flagging. When you do this, there's a bit of additional work on the other side. That is, you should make sure to filter out the inactive records and only retrieve the active ones. But the advantage is that you get to keep the history. On the other hand, if you do a hard delete, it erases the record from the database permanently. You don't have extra work on retrieval, but you lose the history. Depending on the requirement, you can choose the best approach. So I chose to delete permanently because I don't want to keep the history of all unwanted comments. So the implementation is simpler. What I'm going to do here is first check if the comment exists. Exist by ID, else throw not found exception. Run the test. It's failing. Oh, here's a side effect of copy paste. Fix that and run the test again. Now it's passing. Now I want to verify whether the service calls the delete method on the repository. And for that, I'm writing another test. Copy this one here and rename. Now I'm going to set up the mock. When Comment repository exists by ID, then return true. And then call the method under test. Verify that the comment repository delete by ID method was called with a value of 1. Run the test. It has failed. Wanted but not invoked. So I'll add the implementation now. Run the test. Okay, it has passed. Let me rename this to comment ID and run the tests again. Now, going back to the comment controller, instead of throwing the exception from here, I'll call the delete method. Run the test. It fails. Now I'll set up the mock to throw the exception. Run the test again. Now it has passed. The implementation looks good as well as the test class. That's all the tests that I wanted to write for this delete functionality. So let's move on to integration testing. 